Valentine's Day for you guys? Oh man, it was so nice. It was me, my PS3, you know, we, we had yeah, a special night. So romantic, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. Did you guys like- you, you know, you know, I found out why the reason why there's a, you know the disc? Why it has a hole there? I found out why. <laughs> <laughs> Party people, welcome to the Just Gaming Podcast, where we talk about gaming news, topics, and rumors. I'm your host, Henry. With me today, it's Richard and Danny. What's up, Richard? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Took a while. I guess so, right? <laughs> so, uh, you, you say your day is awesome? Yeah. How was your Valentine's? Um, working? Single? Not bad. Sounds yeah. romantic. Sounds normal to all us gamers, I guess. Gamers. Yeah, okay. You already know about my Valentine's. Wait. What about you, Danny? Uh, it was it was nice. It was nice, right? Oh yeah, you know you have a special someone, right? Yeah, um, she's pretty special. Pretty special. Well, you, yeah, it's, yeah. it's nice. You, you took her to GameStop, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I showed her, you know, some nice uh, collection. Of- yeah, you show her her uh, your PlayStation Move, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think we didn't move that day. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we should move on from that. <laughs> that awkward situation. Let's talk about our first news that we're gonna talk about. Our first news we're gonna talk about is uh, it's a little game called Transformers. It's a little franchise. You guys heard about it, right? Yeah, it's pretty small. So there's a new game, a new movie coming out, uh, Transformers Extinction, right? With uh, Marky Mark and <laughs> Marky Mark. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know. It's a Michael Bay. It's not a remake. It's a sequel, sequel though, but yeah. with different cast. So they're making a game out of out of this. Is a, a follow up to this movie and a sequel to War of Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron, and mm-hmm. it's called Transformers: Rise of the Dark Spark. Who, who, who's excited? I'll go over Richard. Who's <laughs> Richard, I am. You're excited? Well, it's coming out for next gen too. Well, I mean, I, I, guess I, one. To be honest, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure who's doing it. I'm not sure if High Moon is doing it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it, the way it looks like, it looks just like. Fall of Cybertron and War of Cybertron. Yeah. Because it's basically all like Generation 1 uh, Transformers and I like that. But mm-hmm. uh, it's kind of confusing though. I don't know. They, 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 like, uh, they, you see both. They, some on Earth, some on Yeah. Cybertron. Yeah. As in, as in, yeah, the location. And what about you, Dan? You're excited for it? Um, I'm interested in the game. Because um, I, I only got to play the last few games just a little. Yeah. And then I love the online. The online was uh, very fun. You get me? Yeah. Just having that, just playing around it. I felt like uh, this game, uh, Twisted Metal. Oh, yeah. But just a little bit different. Of what? Of what? War for Cybertron? Or yeah. Fall of yeah. Cybertron? I remember Richard had War yeah. for Cybertron. It was a fun game. The, the, the story was really good. The multiplayer was really fun. Yeah. And then uh, I, I got to play the demo of Fall of Cybertron, yeah. which was pretty fun too. It was very similar, but I never got the chance. We never, we, we none, we none of us played uh, Fall of Cybertron, but uh, Oh yeah, it's pretty interesting. Okay, the one who's who's developing the trans the new tra- um, Transformers game, Rise of uh, the Dark Spark, is Edge of Reality. Is there a trailer? Yes, yeah, there is a trailer. Yeah, you have not seen the trailer? It's it's very short. It shows a little bit of gameplay. Yeah. Oh wait, actually I did. Okay. And and and, and it didn't show much. Yeah. yeah. So we gotta wait. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. It looks like High Moon. Th- they they're still around I think, and the last game was Deadpool. Yeah. Which is a fun game actually. Yeah, it's a yeah. funny game. A funny game. Yeah. Are you gonna get? This game? Uh, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Yeah. You, we'll, we'll wait and see. I have to be convinced. Yeah. yeah. I get you, bro. I get you. But yeah, let's move on to our next topic. We're gonna talk about is pretty a pretty interesting uh, topic, which is uh, a limited edition Metal Gear Solid Five PS4 edition. Mmm. Oh, pretty sexy, huh? Eh? Which are you gonna get this? Uh, no. Now you already yeah. got a PS4. Yeah, already has but a PS4. It's really cool, man. It's uh basically it's a bundle. Yeah. A limited cool. edition bundle. Well, it sucks it's not here though. It's in Japan, yeah. They're releasing in Japan. Are you interested on this, Danny? Yes, hell yeah. It's pretty interesting. Because uh, I love Metal Gear. Yeah. I want a PS4. And what? Oh man, what? <laughs> what, better, what better way? Better combination <laughs> right? than getting it right. Man, I'm so excited to play this game, man. If it comes to the US. Yes. 
because it's in Japan. I don't think you will do because it's really well, weird. I don't know. And, and it's gonna have that picture on it. What do you mean? Yeah, that's what it is. Sexy. But right? I yeah, think I know. From all the bundles that's gonna come out here, and then it says it's only gonna be an infamous bitch. No, uh, come that's, on. You, know, you saying that's the only bundle? No, like, no, like no. bundle, like, Re- like, like, like limited edition bundle. Like, you know, like, I don't know. I, I doubt. I doubt they're gonna have a limited edition infamous bundle. Like, like for this you, one. Harry, um, which one would you get? An Uncharted bundle or a Metal Gear bundle? Metal Gear bundle. Wait, I mean, what do you mean? I'll you mean an infamous or? Yeah, infamous. Infamous. I don't know. I, I think I'll get a Metal Gear because this one looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> if infamous has something like that, ah, it's really hard to say. But I will get a, a, this one if it comes to the U.S. and yeah. if it's five hundred dollars. Because in Japan they're selling it for four hundred and sixty-four dollars. Oh. I'm correct. In your in uh yen, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. And basically, it's the same model as the PS4 of the launch PS4. Same you by hard drive. Yeah. And everything, yeah. Same. Same everything. It's it's really cool. I'm I'm really excited if it is gonna come to the US. You know what I mean? Right. So yeah, we, we have to wait and see. So yeah, let's, let's uh that's done with that news. So let's uh let's talk about a little topic, guys. Right. You good for that? So yeah, they, they just uh you, you heard of this game, The Order's 1886. Mm. Richard very excited. Yeah. Are you excited for this? I'm excited for this game. For for that game. I was whatever with it. Really? To tell you the truth, when Richard when you when you guys showed me, I'm all like, ah, this doesn't you, even look that good of you a You were game. not feeling it. I wasn't feeling it at all. And good. even though these people already are done. I, I can't wait to see uh supposedly they're gonna come out with a new trailer this year. Yeah, we we're recording this on a Monday. Yeah. And they said they're gonna release it either this month. So I'm gonna hate it if they're gonna release it tomorrow. <laughs> like, oh my god, we just finished I, I, the podcast. I'll, I'll, I'll be pretty sure they'll be doing next week. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, but I'm just heard it's gonna come out soon, and I can't wait to see. But it. yeah, Order 1886. They only have one trainer, which is that little trainer of CG. werewolves and this and that. Yeah. They, they haven't shown no gameplay or anything, and there's been little news about it. And the recent news that was released was it will not feature multiplayer, and it's 30 frames per second. But let's talk about the multiplayer better. I'm a little bummed out at this. Richard, that doesn't affect you, right? No, not really, because. Well, Infamous was like that also. Yeah. Uncharted was like that Not also. really. Yeah. The, so it doesn't really... The first games. The yeah, first Uncharted. The second one was when they added some multiplayer. God of War was also like that. Yeah, and then they so, added... Uh, to me, it doesn't really bother me at all, you know? It's still the first game, so you never know the part of the sequel and so it's also going to multiplayer also. So. But does that mean that this game is being rushed? Hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's, that's a, what I was thinking about. Probably. Because it's a, it's a, what is it, a third person shooter? Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of weird that a third person shooter is not having multiplayer like that. But I don't know, maybe maybe it's just single player fo- focus. You know yeah. what I mean? The thing is that, um, like, like it's, it's, it's a, a new IP. Yes. You know how many games add multiplayer even though it's story based? Mm-hmm. Uh, like for example, Tomb Raider. Yeah, it's a story-based game, and then just and they just time. added yeah. multiplayer just to add that feature. Yeah, yeah, you're you right. Know what I mean, and it was fun, but people hardly play plays multiplayer. Mm-hmm. When I go, it's sometimes hard to find a match. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, people play probably in the first few months, but after. Yeah, I get it. you. That that could be it too. But people buy the game because of the story. Yeah, you know what I mean, like Tomb Raider, for example, but and it sold a lot. It sold very well. Mm-hmm. You get know I me. Mean? So uh, me going to order 1886. Mm-hmm. You know. I wouldn't be surprised if it sells a lot. Yeah. Because people buy games to to enjoy the game. Yeah. Now, if people put multiplayer, it's because they want to, you know, spend some hours. But if people want to really, really, you know, you, online people, they know what games they want. You know, they go for that online game. Yeah, Battlefield. All those type of games. But, like, this a new IP is really hard to add multiplayer. Yeah. And and maybe maybe they did add a multiplayer in, but didn't match. Probably didn't. It yeah, wasn't even that far. didn't feel like it, it was. There was there was a game that did that that I can't remember what it was that it was a single player game and they added multiplayer and just I think it was Mass Effect that Mass Effect they added multiplayer but they said it wasn't right, right. so they just made it as a co-op you know four versus this and that I can't I, I'm not 100 percent sure but yeah sure maybe m- multiplayer doesn't fit in. There's a lot of games though that like you'll think oh that doesn't match like Assassin's Creed. You won't ever think yeah, that that game yeah, will be good as a multiplayer. And then when you play, you're like, you know what? This is actually a pretty damn good God game. of War. I, I mean, God of War, yeah. A perfect example. I, when I when I first bought God of War uh, Ascensions, 
I was only going for the story. Yeah. And I, I me, my expectation for multiplayer were, were low. I'm like, yeah. this is gonna suck. Yeah. And then when yeah, Boom, when you go I there, loved it. Yeah, it brings so many content and, and pretty fun stuff. It took them because they visited they, they had a lot of God of War games. Yeah. Oh. Took them like four yeah, four God of War games. Well from the main consoles. Yeah. So it's, hey we never know, probably the next order. The, yeah, probably maybe yeah, maybe the next order eighteen eighty six is gonna have it. Eighteen eighty seven? Eighteen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know I know for sure you're gonna get it, right, Richard? Yeah, for sure. Are you gonna get it? Uh um, or, uh, uh, let me see that trailer. Just, the yeah, trailer. that's what I'm looking for. Oh, the multiplayer. Right, right, right. But I bet it's gonna be awesome. I I bet it's gonna be. A, and again, that Red, Red Dead Dawn does. It's been good, so. So we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm I'm really little interesting how it's gonna look. But yeah, I'm, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, does it really bother you if people say I'm multiplayer? Nah, it doesn't. It, really I, in the beginning, it kind of does. It did, but after this conversation, nah, not really. Yeah, like <laughs> it maybe like fit. like I mean, it, it kind of still bothers me just for the fact that. Once you're done with the story, you still could come back to the game and still play something. Yeah. Yeah. You get me? But like, like it bothered me. But like, uh, I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out: is it gonna have co-op or is it gonna have no like? They said that right now that there's been speculation that it's gonna be co-op, but yeah, nothing confirmed. Like, like Infamous, it doesn't really have multiplayer; you just have multiplayer yeah, elements. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a multiplayer. Because yeah. you could add stuff and compete with other people on challenges. Yeah, you get me. And but maybe, maybe uh, uh, 1886 is gonna be like uh, Infamous. Infamous, you know, like the story-wise, as in like you know challenges. Challenge? No, as in like the story, like uh, like there's choices. This and mm. that. Like, the meat of the content is the story. You know, I thought this game was gonna be co-op just because of the trailer, the first yeah. one. I had those four people, something like that. And so I yeah, yeah. Awesome. I think they're gonna all announce after uh, after the trailer. Maybe after they show the trailer, they're gonna announce all that. It's pretty cool. You, you say you're gonna get it? Oh no, you say you're gonna wait. I'm still on pending. Yeah, me too. I, I'll, it's probably gonna be a friend length for me because yeah. I'm still not too hyped for this, but. Uh, I don't know. It could be but, the next one. You know, I, I I buy every Sony exclusive. Yeah. Even though that I, is I buy, true. <laughs> I buy them late, but I still buy them. Like, yeah. I'm gonna buy Beyond uh, Two Souls. Uh -huh. It's called Beyond Two Souls. Beyond Two Souls. Yeah. I'm I'm still buy. I'm actually it was thirty bucks this weekend. I forgot to go buy it. Oh really? Yeah. We're in GameStop. The best buy. Oh nice. Yeah. It's pretty cool. All right. I guess I guess we go end it right. So yeah, let, let's go play some 2K14 and uh, yeah, I'm cause his ass. Richard said no. Richard said he's gonna whoop my ass. Right. right. Oh, I'm gonna whoop his ass. Or we're good. Candy ass. I thought I said it was going to move my ass. Yeah. Like, I know. Like, Alright, let's end it here, guys. Uh, well, ga game on? Bueno, game on. Bueno, this is uh, solo gaming, so... Solo gaming. <laughs> Alright, game on, guys. Game on.